Oh, that made some bass when that swung around. You could feel the air coming off of that. Okay, I bought a pair of nunchucks because I thought it would be funny. And if I was in like a traffic jam or something like that and somebody started getting like leery, like how funny would it be to just look in your rear view mirror after giving somebody grief and just see them coming at you like, and what? And what? Anyway, let me put these things away before I hurt myself and others. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Morgan Woods and today we're going to be talking about the new iPhone 12 and Pro and Pro Max cameras. It's only just been a year since the iPhone 11 Pro came out and it's already out of date. But this year, apart from the fact that the new iPhone 12 has 5G, the A14 Bionic chip and MagSafe, those are all great features, but the one thing I want to look at is the cameras. I started this channel with an iPhone XS Max. So the iPhone has always been a very close part of my filmmaking and it's always been something I break. So let's start off with the iPhone 12 and we'll go through the 12, the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max camera systems because they are all individually different. So Apple unveiled that the iPhones can do this new recording feature such as Dolby Vision which is 10 bit color. Now if you're unfamiliar with what 10 bit color is it means that the camera can now record over 700 million different colors and you can change those colors to be more accurate while you're editing. My camera, my £4,000 Canon R5, only just does 4K 10-bit internally. Now, a phone is doing 10-bit internally in 4K. That's actually madness. Now, the 12 only records 10-bit color up to 30 frames per second in 4K, whereas the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max can record up to 60 frames per second in 4K with this Dolby Vision 10-bit color. So if you're into filming a lot of 60 frames per second content, like Instagram stories, and you're throwing them into the computer to edit, I think the 12 Pro might be the better option for you. Now, the iPhone 12 can only optically zoom by two times. The 12 Pro can optically zoom up to four times and the 12 Pro Max can optically zoom up to five times because in the new 12 Pro Max, because they have a new 65mm lens on the sensor of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So the 12 doesn't actually have a LiDAR scanner. The 12 Pro and the Pro Max does. The LiDAR scanner also helps for night mode portraits and focusing in low light. So in the video specs, the optical image stabilization runs across the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro, not the iPhone 12 Pro Max. There is a new kind of image stabilization that only comes in the 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 has optical image stabilization in just one lens. The 12 Pro has image stabilization in two lenses and the 12 Pro Max uses something new called sensor shift stabilization. It's essentially IBIS. So in my camera, the sensor will actually move itself to get rid of some of those handshakes and things like that. Now the iPhone 12 Pro Max has also incorporated this feature directly into the sensor rather than shifting the lens. Now with the sensor shift image stabilization on the 12 Pro Max, this is also going to aid you at night when you're taking long exposures because it's going to be able to keep the phone much more steady. So you won't always need a tripod to do a 10 second exposure. So your footage should look a lot more stable, but bear in mind this might cause a little bit more warping in the corners. You might see it on some of my vlogs. Now the new wide sensors on the 12, 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max are all f1.6, so the down from f1.8 to 1.6, so that's going to let in a lot more light. Now the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro both have the same size sensor on the wide, so on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, Apple have decided to ramp it up to a 47% bigger sensor, which means you're going to be letting in so much more light, which means better low light results and better bokeh and Tons of better stuff. So let's talk about photos on the new iPhones. The new iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max all have the version three of Smart HDR. Now, Smart HDR has always been amazing, so just to have a next level version of that is always welcome. The Smart HDR levels out the highlights and the shadows so that you can see what's in the shadows and what's in the highlights at the same time. Apple have also incorporated a new RAW feature into the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. 
Now, when I shoot photos on my camera, I always shoot in RAW so that I can get the most information out of the photos and I can edit them. Now, normally to shoot RAW, you would have to download a third party app such as the Moment app or Lightroom. But doing so, you wouldn't take advantage of Apple's smart HDR. Now, Apple have seen this issue and decided, let's make our own RAW for the integrated photo app on their phone. So when you open the camera app, you now get Apple Pro RAW, which is a RAW format of photos with way more information. So when you come to edit a photo, you don't ruin the photo when you try pulling the colors around and shifting exposures after you've taken the photo. I gotta say, Apple have actually blown my mind with the capabilities of the cameras in these phones. Do not get me wrong, the iPhone is still iPhone footage, but it's a step closer to becoming a proper, proper camera. But the main question is, will I be getting an iPhone 12, a 12 mini, or an iPhone 12 Pro Pro Max? I'm still not quite sure if I'm honest. I don't know what I fancy. I like the idea of the Apple Pro Raw, but if I'm wanting to take that higher quality footage, I'm more than likely gonna grab my camera and do it right. But I don't know, I don't know. I think, I think I'm gonna get the 12 Pro. But whatever I get, once I do get it, I am going to be comparing it to my camera and we're gonna be testing out whether or not you can see a difference in the iPhone 12 12 Pro depending on what I get compared to a Canon EOS R5 an 8k camera you might not be able to see a difference anyway thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe do all the stuff that you already love to do I will see you in the next one bye bye